Hey guys, so this is going to be a bit of a different uh, layout for this video and you guys are going to see uh, in the very near future and maybe I'll just drop a date for that uh, in this video. So I've teased recently uh, about a big, big collection I bought, uh, a collection I spent over a thousand dollars on and uh, a lot of it is, most of it is to resell. Uh, some of the stuff's already spoken for. I've added some really cool stuff to my collection. And there's so much of it that I shot it here on the couch and I'm going to just knock out these couple videos. So I think the plan is going to be to drop the video. Uh, I'm going to drop this video right away. So today's uh, the 12th of January. So let's say, let's, let's do, hmm, contemplating when I want to drop the big video. I guess to kind of get a move on, I'm going to drop the video on Monday. Let's, let's do this coming Monday, which means I got a lot of editing to do and uploading. So we will shoot for this Monday, uh, the day that I can't think of. Well, today's Wednesday the 12th. Let's drop this on the 17th, this big uh, collection video. So that's coming. It's amazing. It's going to be a long video, but... Get your pen and paper ready because there's a lot of cool stuff for sale. So that's not what this video is about though. This video is about the awesome folks at Warner Brothers Home Entertainment sending me over Dune, the 2021 film on 4K Blu-ray digital for me to check out and review for you guys. And um, this was a movie that I was curious about pretty much based on the filmmaker and cast. I am not a big sci-fi guy. I'll start out by saying that. Uh, I know this had like a two and a half or has a two and a half hour runtime, so that was a bit intimidating. So let me just show you. There's Dune with the slipcover there. And it comes with the digital copy code, Movies Anywhere code right here. And then there's a little bit of disc art on these discs. Uh, I will also say that we watched it on 4K and it looked absolutely stunning on 4K. Um, so this movie, uh, like I said, not necessarily my cup of tea, but I'm a massive fan of Timothy Chalamet, who obviously is the lead in this film. It also features Dave Bautista, Jason Momoa, uh, Josh Brolin, Oscar Isaac, uh, Rebecca Ferguson, Zendaya, even though she's in it for like five minutes, uh, Javier Bardem, Stellan Skarsgård, uh, who else am I forgetting here? Uh, Charlotte Rampling, maybe, a, yeah, uh, am I mistaken about that one woman? Is that, no, it's Rebecca Ferguson. Okay. Um, so yeah, and directed by Denny Villeneuve, uh, who I really enjoyed, uh, Arrival that he did, a sci-fi movie out of my comfort zone that I actually really liked. Um, so this movie for me, uh, I'll do a more in-depth review in my weekly reviews, uh, in the upcoming weeks. But um, the first act of this was pretty slow for me personally, but I enjoyed the second and third act quite a bit. Um, so as soon as this movie starts, the first thing that comes up on screen after I believe a quote starts it, but it says Dune, part one. So there was uh, sneaky advertising on Warner Brothers' behalf because obviously they just sold the movie as Dune. But as soon as the movie starts, you find out it's part one. And that's probably one of my bigger gripes with the movie is it starts ramping up to this action and then it's like, okay, stick around for part two in a few years, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, but what I saw, I enjoyed. Timothy Chalamet is fantastic in this movie. Um, they build up the sandworms throughout the movie. You know, that's one of the big reveals in the third act finally. But I enjoyed the movie overall. Uh, for you bonus feature fans, there's no bonus features on the 4K disc. I can list down the Blu-ray bonus features because I did not get a chance to check them out. Special features contain the Royal Houses, film books uh, for the house. Or I'm, I am going to butcher this. There's four film books for the different houses. Uh, Inside Dune, the training room. Inside Dune, the spice harvester. Inside Dune, the Sardaukar battle. Uh, building the Ancient, ancient Future, um, My Desert, My Dune, Constructing the Orn... Oh man, I am going to just tear this apart. Ornithopters, 
Designing the Sandworm, Beware the Baron, Wardrobe from Another World, and a new soundscape. Uh, this is available now, like I said, on 4K. Uh, the DVD, which isn't featured in here, has the Royal Houses bonus feature, and that's it. Uh, like I said, comes with the... Um, this comes with the 4K, Blu-ray, and digital copy. They also have a Blu-ray DVD combo and DVD standalone, if I am not mistaken. Uh, for, yep. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, no, I enjoyed Dune. Definitely, like I said, out of my comfort zone. Curious to see part two when it releases. Um, but yeah, Dune, I recommend you guys checking out. The 4K looks beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous and stunning. A big thank you to the folks over at Warner Brothers Home Entertainment for sending this over to me to check out, uh, to talk to you guys about. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Let me know if you've seen Dune and what you thought of it. Uh, mind you, I haven't seen the original. I haven't seen the remake. I haven't read the books. It, it's outside of my comfort zone big time, but I enjoyed it uh, for the most part. So... Uh, like I said, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to come back and check out that big collection video this upcoming Monday, which puts me under some pressure to do some editing, which is good. And uh, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, who's down to movie?